Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. So today, we are going to take a look at my reptiles collection because I just got a new book from a bookstore and this book actually contains some minifigures four figurines inside so i'm pretty happy and um yeah i think there are like some snakes some crocodiles and a lizard inside so i can't wait to see what species we get to have and i think there was also like a small little book this is not a sponsored video i basically purchased this book on my own okay so um at the end of the video i'll probably give you guys more updates okay and check this out what is this guys this is actually a marine reptile that i've just repainted it is not ready yet as you guys can see it only has a coat of white paint so the next few days we are going to paint this together on dan surprise okay so um yes let's get started all right guys so you can see we actually have a book of this uh we have the um dinosaur booklet we also have the big cats one so this is the first time we are getting the reptiles so it's really cool um it's basically features i think it's a cobra i think komodo dragon right here and um this it's a crocodile um it comes with four figures so yeah i, I got this from a local bookstore named popular so let's get this opened. I'm gonna take my box cutter. I mean, if you are a kid, please do not use a box cutter on your own, okay? All right, just give me a second while I slice the box open. Okay, you can see it actually comes with um, four figures as well as a mini book, okay? So I think right here, you are able to find some Komodo dragons right here. So Komodo dragons, they are actually um, very deadly lizards, I would say. Here's a little booklet and let's have a look. Wow, what is this? I think this is a sal salamander. I'm not very sure. We, we should have a look at you know, them later on. Wow, this is definitely a Komodo dragon and you can see it is a very fine detailed minifigure. I like, I like it a lot. And this is probably a crocodile, very beautifully crafted as well. Really love this. And this one seems to be a, I'm not too sure, a viper. Okay, let's have a look. Ha let's have a read at this. Upscale habitat, we have a cobra right here. We have a turtle. We have an iguana. Green iguana spend much of their time in rainforest canopies. Unlike mammals, reptiles are cold-blooded. They must seek shade to cool down or sun to warm up. Okay, very nice. Social habits of the chameleon. Very nice. Okay, so um, speaking of chameleon, we're going to take a look at, you know, a chameleon right here, guys. This is basically the veiled chameleon. I think it is the same one. All right. Nile crocodiles watch over the nest. When babies hatch, the mothers open their giant mouths and gently carry the babies to water i have a nile crocodile right here guys this is basically uh, our nile crocodile figure right here so they are able to, able to open the mouth and um, to transport their babies to the water very cool sea turtles are generally solitary i don't think we have any sea turtles in this box so it's okay we'll, we'll skip this we can actually you know read this book again you know when it comes to another um you know turtles um figure yep that's a giant tortoise for you we will focus more on lizards today okay all right next page what do we have right here most reptiles might not seem to be as useful as dairy cow or as friendly as a puppy but they are a very important part of life on earth the study of reptiles can teach us a lot about environment and help us plan for the future. So what do we have right here? Yeah, crocodiles and a snake. So what do we have right here? Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle. We definitely have one Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle in our turtles collection. All right, let's uh, move on to the next page. These are about sea turtles. Let's try to find some information about the Komodo dragon. Nice. Let us take a look at our Komodo dragons. Okay, let's, let me just find all of them. Okay, we have one right here. Okay, do we have more Komodo dragons? I'm pretty sure we have lots of Komodo dragons in our collection. Okay, let's read this together. 
Komodo dragons are the largest lizards in the world, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing around 300 pounds. They lived on five neighboring islands in Indonesia, one of which is Komodo Island. Very nice. Wow, I think one day we should visit um, Komodo Island um, and take photos and videos of the Komodo dragons. I think that will be really amazing. Komodo dragons are cannibalistic. They have been known to eat the offspring of smaller adults. The babies run straight up a tree after they are born and they don't come down until they are large enough to defend themselves. Wow, that is pretty, pretty intimidating and terrifying, I would say. They eat their own baby. So once they are born, they have to run away from the parents. That is pretty sad, right? Crabby Komodos Komodo dragons fight a lot, especially during mating season when males compete fiercely over who will have the right to approach a female. Wow. This dragon doesn't breathe fire, but it has venom, gl venom glands full of toxins that prevent blood clotting and induce shock. Wow. <laughs> that is just incredible. So we have some snakes right here. We don't have any snake figures in this box. So uh, yeah, let's see whether there are more facts about, you know, crocodiles. Wow, we do have a saltwater crocodile right here. Okay, check this out. What is this? This is an alligator. Yep, this is an alligator. We definitely do have a saltwater crocodile. I think this is this is actually the one. Okay, this is quite a huge one. We do have another one right here. I, I, I think so. This one definitely looks more like a saltwater crocodile. Okay, do we have more crocodiles inside? This is probably, no, this is not. This is probably, yeah, this is probably another one. Yeah, saltwater crocodile, this is the one. So let's read this together. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest living reptiles in the world. They can grow to be over 20 feet long and weigh above 2,000 pounds. They are excellent swimmers and live for around 70 years. This fierce carnivores will consume anything from a monkey to water buffalo and most things in between. Okay, they often hunt by floating just below the surface of the water and waiting for prey to come and drink. So they basically ambush um, the prey by just surfacing below the water. Oh yeah, very cool. This is how they act actually attack their prey. By surprise, I guess. With one thrash of their powerful tails, they can leap into the air, sink the teeth into the prey, and drag it into the water. Amazing stuff. Do we have more saltwater crocodiles? Okay, this one is an, actually an uh, American alligator. Um, this is a very small species of um, crocodile. Um, it is known as a caiman. Alright, I'm trying to find more saltwater crocodiles. This is probably a saltwater crocodile. Probably, I'm not exactly very sure. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Um, do we have more pages? Wow, Gila monster. Is this the Gila monster? I think so, guys. The Gila monsters, pronounced as Giler, Giler, is a large venomous lizard that lives in North America. It wants predators to stay away by opening its mouth very wide. This is called gaping. Beautiful figure, really love this figure a lot. I think this is our first ever Giller monster. Love it. The Giller monster's name for the place where it was first discovered, the Giller River Basin in Arizona. Giller monsters spend most of the time in the burrows. They are most active during the warmer months, emerging to hunt for eggs and small animals or bask in the sun. Wow, love it. You can see, I really love the patterns on their body. You can see um, it's like basically orange in color and they have black patterns. Really, really beautiful. Our very first Gila monster. This is not a Gila monster for you guys. Uh, I mean, in case that you guys do not know, it is a bearded dragon. All right, let's move on. We have a collared lizard right here. Beautiful. And um, this one is an iguana. Let's see. Let's see whether there are any more pages. Oh my goodness, there's no more. Okay, so we, we do know that this box actually comes with a Giller monster. It also comes with a crocodile, which looks fantastic. It also comes with a Komodo dragon. Let's just read one more fact about the Komodo dragon, shall we? 
that is has got to be my most favorite page in this book okay uh yeah we'll probably read the reptiles again you know maybe in another reptilian um you know video so let's let's take a look uh yeah i mean we have read all of this so yeah komodo dragons are the largest uh, lizards in the world okay um yeah nice we have read all of this and right here we have two komodo dragons guys okay this one is a really beautiful one from safari ltd so they are huge lizards guys huge huge lizards and here's another one komodo dragon okay um yeah i think for the chameleon which is right here we do have one which is i would say okay this is not a uh, this is actually a haunt chameleon i think here's here's the one which it looks very very similar to the one in the picture looks so similar all right Nile crocodiles, I think we only have one Nile crocodile But we do have a very small alligator baby So alligator babies, when they are young, they actually have stripes on their bodies And um, the temperature of the nest actually determines the gender of the alligator's babies, okay? And here's another alligator Here we have a fruit neck lizard, beautiful one This one is... um. A white alligator so it's very easily recognizable and easily differentiable you know between a crocodile and an alligator so let's just use this for a better comparison you can see the snot right here it's kind of like rectangular whereas the crocodile has a very triangular so you can see side by side is actually very very significant one is very rectangular Whereas the other one is very triangular, right? So next up, we have an Indian Garrier. So this is a very unique species of crocodile. You can see the snout is extremely narrow. Yeah, very, very narrow. And uh, yeah, this is considered uh, quite a new figure. This is the thorny dragon, if I'm not wrong. And this is actually a false head. So whenever there's a predator or they are being you know, intimidated, they will just hide the real head to expose this as the false head to distract uh, the predator. This is basically the white alligator. So let's do a comparison right here. You can see the snot is very rectangular as well. Beautiful. Mini bearded dragon. This is what is this, guys? This is a crested gecko. Wow, beautiful figure as well. And what do we have right here? Saltwater crocodile as well, I think. Crocodile. I mean, it could be a saltwater crocodile. And this is basically the horned lizard. You can see there's plenty of horns behind the back of its head. And this one should be a thorny dragon. I'm, I'm not too sure. Or it could be the same one. The last one is basically our fruit neck lizard, which looks like a Dilophosaurus. Do you guys know what is a Dilophosaurus? Let me show you guys quickly. So Dilophosaurus is basically this dinosaur with a um, huge frill around its head. So yeah, basically the Dil Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park got its inspiration from, you know, the fruit neck lizard, okay? So this is it guys, so yeah. So this is a quick video, hopefully you guys enjoy this. In our next video, I'll probably do a reptiles versus a uh, big cats collection. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, and very soon on Dan Surprise, I'll be showcasing, I'll be showcasing and showing off um, the newly repainted Mosasaurus. But I think it will take a few more days. But at least, you know, we have started, and um, yeah, the base coat is looking great. Of course, there are some, you know, parts to be touched up. Alright, thanks for watching this guys. I will see you in the next video. Um, tomorrow you'll be getting a new video on Dan Surprise. So make sure you subscribe to Dan Surprise as well. I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.